with us. We've got a match made in heaven coming your way on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Ali LaForce. Now the opening lineup for the Brooklyn Nets. We've got Nicholas Claxton. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Mikhail Bridges. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Johnson in at the three. And for the Timberwolves. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's McDaniels in at the three. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. Now here's Conley. Pass to Towns. Conley looking for an opening. Six on the shot clock. Good D by Finney Smith. Outside Johnson. Bridges outside. Right side Schroeder. Over Conley. Schroeder can't get it to go. And without a superstar scorer, Grant, the question has always been, how does this Nets team generate enough offense? Yeah, well, hero ball is not going to work. I mean, they've got to push the pace and trust one another and go from good shot to great shot. Offensive rebound. 4-3. And again, it's the Nets missing. Here's Minnesota. And here's Conley. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Wing shot on the way. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Uh, Anthony Edwards has length and strength. And defense is there, but he just makes it look easy. Inside. Here's Johnson. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Conley with the ball. He's picked up by Schroeder. Another shot. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Well, at least the D was going for it, but he got to the ball just a moment late. For Brooklyn, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Edwards against Bridges. Pass to Finney Smith. Now here's Johnson. Just five to shoot. And here's Schroeder outside. And Gobert with a block. One of the best to do it. Gobert adds another block to that career total. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Reed's checked in for Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Morris in for Mike Conley. So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Ben Simmons is checked in for Claxton. Watford comes in for Finney Smith. Thomas, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's Smith in for Schroeder. Well, one advantage of putting the ball in Ben Simmons' hands, he's an unbelievable passer. That's so true, B.A. He has incredible vision. And what's most striking to me is if he rebounds it and goes, the ability to push tempo, the ability to use that incredible vision to put pressure on in transition, it is probably his greatest strength. Uh, the handle of Anthony Edwards so much tighter. That is so good. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Morris against Smith. Here's Thomas. And he buries his first look. And it's Edwards with a ball for the Timberwolves. They traveled to Brooklyn last time they faced the Nets. Came away with a win. Yeah, they barely got by this team in the last meeting. Rebounding was the big factor. Now here's Edwards. The kick out to Morris. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Bridges. I'm sure if he had the chance to do that possession over again, he would not have taken the shot. It's Thomas on the wing. Pass to Simmons. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. 
when you're 6'11 and have that kind of athleticism get to the backboards. Well done, Ben Simmons. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Anthony Edwards has the kind of frame and skill set that can make him a force. But it all comes down to paying the price and putting in the work now. And both free throws good for Edwards. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Tie game in Minnesota. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And as our coverage continues, happy Valentine's Day again to everyone out there. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Timberwolves? Attacking relentlessly, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the strike. They have done a tremendous job of drawing contact and putting officials in a place where they simply have to make the call. You know, Doris, looking at the Timberwolves, they've emphasized rim protection. B.A., this is a theme across the NBA. As much as we see the proliferation of three-point shooting, team's first priority is to protect the painted area because those are the easiest shots. You've got to play to your strengths and employ good defensive philosophy. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. So that's the Timberwolves' five. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Schroeder. And there are so many big men that can bring the ball up now, Doris. It's changed how teams get into their offenses. Well, B.A., what coaches will tell you is they are getting to a place where you have to have five guys who can hurt you offensively. The bigs being able to take a rebound and get it up quickly in transition does one huge thing. That creates mismatches, something teams always are on the lookout for. And Doris, for Brooklyn, what do you think their biggest challenge will be retooling this roster? B.A., one of the problems they face, they don't own many of their own draft picks. So acquiring key pieces has to come through trades and free agency. And with that, you then have to have the salary cap implications to deal with. This is not easy. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. After their big trade with Rudy Gobert, it's taken a while for the Wolves to gel. Gobert said, quote, it just comes with the time and trust. Basketball is never perfect, but we can punish all kinds of defenses by making the right play and finding the open man. With that mindset, we are going to keep getting better. I'm confident in our abilities. Brian? Well, that, that's the way you have to look at it, Allie. Thank you. And that one falls for Towns. Those advanced numbers for Carl Anthony Towns are incredible doors. And B.A., obviously those advanced numbers are something all organizations look at. Cat's got one of the top offensive ratings in NBA history. And listen, his three-point stroke opens up the floor. He can also put it on the deck. He's very efficient. There's a lot to like about Cat. Conley against Schroeder. And that one's good from Conley. Conley's got his second basket of the night. Well, there's not a little bit of hesitation with Mike Conley. I know he's slight of frame, but he's thinking, I can score it in the painted area. Outside Finney Smith. Clock at six. Walker against Edwards. Walker's shot is off. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. 
No dice on the putback jam. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Outside, Finney Smith. And the Nets miss again. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. And they pick up two. McDaniel's got his first points of the night. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Outside Walker. Back to Schroeder. Looking to end the run. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. This guy has quality wingspan for his size. Dennis Schroeder can adapt and adjust to defensive pressure. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Reed's checked in for Gobert. Anderson comes in for Towns. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Anthony Edwards. And it's Morris in for Mike Conley. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Simmons has checked in for Claxton. Watford comes in for Finney Smith. Thomas, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's Bridges in for Walker. Free throw good, Schroeder. One thing Dennis Schroeder has proven is that he can be an effective player whether he's starting or coming off the bench. This is a versatile guard and maybe his best attribute, confidence. Here's Reed. Hey, it's blocked by Simmons. Morris deciding where to go with it. Pure from three-point range. Morris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Thomas. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the officials signal a jump ball here. And Minnesota has possession. And so Morris will bring it up for Minnesota. Five-point lead, biggest of the game. They'll be off to Portland for a meeting with the Trailblazers after this one. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. McDaniels from long range. And another three for Minnesota. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Well, Doris, the Timberwolves have made consecutive playoff appearances. That's a win for this team. Well, when you consider that hadn't been done in this organization going all the way back to 2004, it does show they are moving in the right direction. The next step, obviously, they have to win a series. And Grant, this Nets team trying to set their identity at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, well, with the players they have on the wings, led by Mikael Bridges, they have the personnel to be disruptive. Long, mobile, and switchable, they give you lots of trouble. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bridges. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Anderson. Banked it in off the glass. And the Timberwolves lead by 11. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Thomas misses. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Anderson passes to Morris. To the inside. Reed. He's off on the layup. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Carl, you were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. 
one half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They're in a terrific position now thanks to their flawless execution in the second quarter. Some excellent work offensively now has them up 11 at the break. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? They're running the offense beautifully this one. Working for good looks. The confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow at this point. Kenny, how do you think the Nets were playing? Hey, Ernie, it's not hard to see why they're down at this point. They're not even shooting 35% from the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they could create better shots, then they have a better chance. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Boy, you got to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. Well, perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency. This guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy. What a great half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Checking out the group for Jock Vaughn to start the second half. They've got Dennis Schroeder, Cameron Johnson out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then it's Nicholas Claxton, and it's Bridges in at the two. Connolly with the ball. Claxton picks him up. Right side, Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're open, I promise he'll find you. And you look at the impact of Mike Conley. He makes a difference without making many mistakes, Doris. B.A., just an extremely disciplined point guard. He'd rather make the smart play than the highlight reel. This guy sets such a great example on and off the floor. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Mikel Bridges is a premier defender. He said, quote, people take it for granted how tough it is to guard the top perimeter players in this league and not be able to really touch them because they're going to get the foul call. You've got to guard these matchups one on one. And I think we get taken for granted. B.A., he's on point. Yeah, he does have a point there. Thanks, Allie. Here's Schroeder. Got a hand on it. Wow, great defensive play by Anthony Edwards engaged on that end of the floor right now. Pass to Conley. Let's go with a three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. And the Nets call time here. And Doris Anthony Edwards has lived up to the expectations. He continues to get better each year. He does, B.A., and let's remember, as a former number one pick, that carries a lot of weight and responsibility. But Ant is a guy who embraces that pressure. He wants the spotlight, and he puts in the work to be great. His future is bright. And the Nets making a change here. Walker's checked in. And a chance here to check out some stats for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, 
What would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. And there's Towns on the assist by Conley. Conley's got three assists in the game. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Walker passes to Johnson. Outside Schroeder. Shot clock at six. Up and over Conley. Schroeder can't get it to go. And here's Minnesota now. Right now on a 9-0 run. It's stolen by Johnson. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Walker. On the wing, Finney Smith. Covered by Towns. Here's Walker. Edwards pulls it in. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Conley against Schroeder. Towns for three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his fourth assist with that last one. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over now. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. And with this break, we have a chance to look at the best of the NBA shot blockers this season. The fourth spot held by Rudy Gobert. He always makes an impact with his shot blocking. He's a constant presence around the rim. Here's Smith. Still no points. There's 49 seconds left in the third. Here's Simmons, and the Nets miss again. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Towns for three. The rebound by the Nets. Excellent job of closing out on that three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Pass to Gobert. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards got 12. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. Here's Thomas. Over Edwards. It's deflected. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. The T-Wolves on top, running away with it. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so Morris will bring it up for Minnesota. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Nas Reed out there with Kyle Anderson. 
Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Then it's Miller. And it's Morris in at the point guard position. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Shot clock at five. Reed can't hit. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Pass to Wilson. Throws it up high. And it's Simmons with the jam. Oh, my goodness. What a target. 6'11", long arms. Ben Simmons, make your teammate look great. Reed, good. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Smith passes to Walker. Well, you got to say, Doris, in the last few years, we've seen fantastic MVP races in the league. What we have seen, B.A., is several players, not one or two, but several players play at an MVP level in multiple seasons. And to me, that adds intrigue to the end of the season. The race has really gone up to the final couple weeks of the season. Uh, just high-level basketball, and you love that it's that competitive. No good on that one. McDaniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Claxton, he's checked in for Simmons. Finney Smith comes in for Watford. Mikael Bridges checked in for Wilson. And it's Schroeder in for Smith. He hits the second from the line. Minnesota has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Schroeder against Morris. And there's the drive. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Alexander Walker. Now Morris. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Walker against McDaniels. Walker's shot is off. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Morris outside. Here's Alexander Walker. It's McDaniels on the wing. Walker covering. A oh, nice shot by Morris. You love the aggressive play inside from Monte Morris. For Brooklyn, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Bridges finds Schroeder. A minute 37 left in the fourth quarter. Well, the Timberwolves shooting an efficient 57% tonight. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Timberwolves. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And it was a team effort tonight, collecting their 39th victory of the year. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured the first two meetings of the year. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Anthony Edwards. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. 13 feet out. Here's Claxton. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. And here's Anderson. He's marked by Finney Smith. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, the defender really went after him. Shooting two. That free throw misses. Oh. 
Second free throw, no good. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. Outside Walker, back to Smith. Some solid defense from Edwards. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And so it's Minnesota easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. <laughs> and the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. All right, I'm with Carl Anthony Towns. Carl, congratulations on the victory. What was key in getting the win here tonight? Uh, I mean, we played like we wanted it more. You know, we came out here and we just did a lot of great defensive stops. It wasn't offensive. It was more defensive. We did a great job. We got the 50-50 balls, uh, put us in a nice position. We can see and feel that desperation. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everyone.